confession. I can get all jittery about needing to carve a whole turkey. But I relax considerably when I serve turkey breast that's boneless and skinless. Today I'm going to show you how to make turkey breast with orange sauce. So I've made a bed of onions here. You know, turkey breast is very mildly flavored, so I'm going to add some flavor from below, but that's not the end of it. I'm going to cut slashes into the breast itself, cutting, oh, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch deep. I don't want to slice the breast as such. I'm just, just creating openings. And you see how it begins to stand apart? That's perfect. And now I'm going to make a mixture that goes into those slashes because I want to add some additional flavor. Garlic that's been minced, black pepper, and some dried rosemary. Give it just a bit of a stir. And that garlic is going to help it adhere and clump up, hold together a bit. Keep doing it until it's well blended. And when I have it well mixed, I'm going to divide this now and put it down into the slashes that I've created. Just use your other hand to spread it apart and the point of the spatula to make sure that you've covered the entire distance, the entire length of the slash. Remember, you're not dealing with the bone, so you can do this quite easily. The beauty of this is as the turkey breast cooks in the slow cooker, the flavor from these herbs and the garlic will infuse the breast itself from above. So we've got it sitting on a bed of onions and now we're adding this additional flavor into the meat itself. So when we're finished, the next step is to use a good flexible metal spatula, lift it up and settle it right into that bed of onions. I like to not have it touching the edge of the slow cooker if I can help it because I don't want to dry it out. And we know that that is a tendency that breast meat has. And then a final step. I have orange juice here, which I'm going to pour over the top, but ever so gently because I don't want to wash away the herbs and the garlic. So don't hit the spots, if you can help it, where the herbs and garlic are already placed and save most of the orange juice for pouring around the edges. This too will add amazing subtle flavor as the breast cooks. That is super easy. One thing left to do, on with the lid and the slow cooker turn to low where it will cook for four to five hours. Oh, this is gorgeous. Turkey breast can cook dry just like that. So I've had it cooking for four hours. I'm going to test it now with my trusty Easy Read thermometer just to make sure it is not overdone or almost overdone. Stick it right into the center. Don't let it get against the slow cooker. Ah, uh, yes, okay. It is at slightly more than 160. Ideally, turkey is finished cooking at 165. So I'm going to stop it now because it will hold residual heat and continue to cook. Off with the cooker, and I'm going to remove it from the hot crock. Drain it slightly. I'll be back for that juice later. We're not gonna let it go to waste. Put it onto the cutting board. So you see there the wonderful stripes that the garlic and herbs have put into this lovely turkey breast. Not only is it beautiful to look at, I need to do a test here just to make sure that it's also as flavorful as I think it will be. Mmm, mmm, better than I expected. And now, if I were to serve it immediately, I would drizzle over top some of the orange juice and onions as well. It is a fantastic flavor and so tender. I think of cooked turkey as pure gold. You can add it to soup. You can toss it with a salad. You could put it into a creamy pasta sauce. Whichever way you want to serve it, it is delicious and delightful.